Okay, I'm hoping you can see this. But anyway, this is a classic example of the change in the moment of inertia where it, it where the moment of inertia starts off going fast and then it when you change when you increase the moment of inertia the rotational speed will decrease. All right, here is a classic classic Dr. Dre doing the Dr. Pepper commercial. Scientific test proof. Scientific test. Drink Dr. Pepper slow. 23 flavors taste even better. For me, slow always produces a hit. Step aside for a minute. Check this out. Slow is better. Trust me. Dr. Okay. Of course, we had some hiccups in there. Um, but anyway, all right. So here's here's your problem 64. So a playground carousel is rotating clockwise about its center on a frictionless bearing. A person standing still on the ground grabs onto one of the bars on the carousel very close to its outer edge and climbs aboard. Thus, this person begins with an angular speed of zero and ends up with a non-zero angular speed, which means that he underwent a counterclockwise angular acceleration and the carousel was has a radius of 1.58, an initial angular speed of 3.48 meters per second, and a moment of inertia of uh, 143 kilograms meters per second squared. Find the angular speed of the carousel after the person climbs on board. All right, now you can go to the Go tutorial and all of that stuff, but here's the bottom line. Here's the bottom line, okay? So you've got, you've got this carousel spinning, and um, luckily they told us. Notice they didn't tell us the radius. He, he did, so our carousel is spinning in a counterclockwise direction very fast at an initial omega naught, and um, which was given. And then they and they give us the moment of inertia is given. Well, what happens is, just like in the Dr. Dre commercial, this person jumps on board, all right? And what this is, this causes a deacceleration of the thing. So work was done to deaccelerate this thing, you know? Um, and so you got this blob has now jumped on board, okay? Which now has changed and it, and it's and they're saying he's very close to the edge, so that because if he plopped on board in the middle somewhere, that wouldn't have reduced it so much, its speed so much. But since he's on the edge, his mr squared affects this mr squared. So you've got this i final, which is just equal to i initial plus mass of dude. Plus mr square of the person, which we just um, which will say he is also at, um, uh, so I naught was equal to 123 kilograms meters squared. And then his moment of inertia, since we're going to treat him like a blob, the I of the blob is equal to 41 kilograms, whatever he was, times R squared also. So meters squared also. Okay. So, that's the way that works. 41.3 kilograms. Okay. Let me change that to 41.3. All right. The carousel is radius of 1.58 meters per second. Oh, so we do have to change him a little bit. I probably should have worked this out ahead of time. But this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. So if he's at the very edge, and we're just going to treat him like a blob, then I of the blob... Of the man is equal to 41.3 kilograms times 1.58 meters squared. That's quite an increase. That's going to really slow down this this uh, carousel. So I naught omega naught is equal to I naught plus I of the blob times omega final, omega final. And that's what you, this is what you're trying to find. Okay? 
what's it look like? You're right. It looks a heck of a lot like an inelastic collision, doesn't it? It's the same. It's the same thing. And I bet you, if you calculated the kinetic energy, the rotational kinetic energy of this, and the rotational kinetic energy of this, this one would be higher. If if I was given an extra, if I get assigned extra credit, I'd say, all right, find the find the beginning rotational kinetic energy in the final. Are they equal to each other? All right, we are done because this guy jumping on there definitely took energy out of the system and slowed it down. Out here.